Hey guys, Matt here again with another interesting to me tutorial. Um, so I mentioned in a post that I threw up there just now um, that you can use a table. You can actually put a table in um, your applet frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I figured I'd just show you guys how to do it real quick. So if you ever wanted to actually use it, um, I'm not sure if we'll get to this in the lessons, but here it is. So I've just thrown a quick, you know, see it's just, just a button, a really huge button that says go. Um, and on the action, it's going to create a new frame, so it's just going to pop up with a new window. Um, so frame f equals new j frame, so it's just, you know, defining a new frame. Um, and then the way the table actually works is you need to define what's you can tell it what's going to go in the table so it needs to know how big the table is going to be how many columns and then how many rows and it does that by basically you need to define these arrays and then it takes the array inside here which is the arguments the uh, parameters and then it takes that and figures out okay there's one two three columns and there's one two three rows so it's going to take that and it's going to make a table with three columns and three rows so first one is the Columns. We name the columns here. I named them one, two, and three, and they're just a, it's just an object array. And an object array is basically anything. Um, it, they are strings here, but it just takes them as instead of being um, an array list of strings or an array list of integers, it's basically Java is just saying, oh look, it's an array list of something. Um, and the second thing you need is you need an object array array. Look at that. The second one right there. It's two. So you need an object array array. I've defined that as objects. So opening brackets with obviously our closing semicolon. Um, then you have here inside the second array, you have three items because there's three columns. So I've got an integer 0, 0, and 0, 0. So it shows, you know, this is the integer, this is the name, and this is the integer plus the name. And so you can you can get really fancy with these, you know. I did some really interesting things in my midterm project, um, but this is just really basic. So then, once I've defined everything that's going to go in the table, I define the table right here, J table T, and I'm going to go uh, f dot add. I'm going to add a component, and because T is a component, I'm just going to add T. Uh, f. I'm going to set the size once my computer loads. Set size, width and height. So you're just gonna this dot width. Um, I'm just gonna get the width of the current like when it's open. Um, so it's gonna open up a new frame with whatever size the first frame was. Um, and then all you gotta do, all that's left is to set visible. When it's true. So all it's going to do is when you perform the go button action, it's going to set a, define a new frame, a uh, new table with all of this information in it. It's going to add it. It's going to set the size, and it's going to enable it. So I'm going to go here. Shift F6 runs this file. So we get a big go button. Hit the go button. You get a new table. So we get 0, 10, 20, 0, 10, 20, 0, 0, 10, 10, 20, 20. Um, so... The real if you look back um, at my right here you can see this is my window it's a really giant go button so what it's going to do is obviously it's going to create this new frame and you can see it's the same size as everything it's got all of my data in it but you'll notice that my column names actually aren't here and that's because we never really told the program to throw the column name there so you need to it's this right here um, you don't necessarily need to know by heart what it does, but it's going to add another component, and the component itself is the header of the table and um, the start page border layout. So um, when I run this here, when I run this, um, I'll just you know make it that size hit go and this is the border layout and now you see the columns so that's uh, if you want the column names that's how you do it 
Otherwise, it's not going to throw them out there. Um, and you can see, um, obviously, as you saw before, see this frame is the same size because it constantly changes via uh, the stucket height. And in case you didn't, I'm, I think we went over this, um, but this just references this class. Um, this can mean a bunch of different things, uh, but this, in this instance, it literally just means this, which is this class. And because this class is a frame, it takes the main, and it finds this table frame, and table frame gets the width and height. Um, so maybe someone watched this. I don't honestly know if anyone's ever watched any of the videos I posted. Um, but good luck on your midterm projects, and I will see you guys soon.